following contains clips from Disney Pixar's Cars 2. Now available on Blu-ray and DVD. Japan, land of the rising sun, where ancient tradition meets modern technology. Welcome to the inaugural running of the World Grand Prix. I'm Brent Mustangberger, here with racing legends Daryl Cartrip and David Hopscap. There's never been a competition like this before. First, all in all, making its debut tonight is the required fuel for all these great champions. Second, the course itself, and it's like nothing we've ever seen before. David, how exactly does this competition work? Well, Brent, all three of these street courses are classic round-the-house racetracks. This means that the LMP and Formula cars should break out of the gate in spectacular fashion. Look for Francesco Bernoulli in particular to lead early. And with a series of technical turns throughout, GT and touring cars like Spain's Miguel Camino should make up some ground, but I doubt it'll be enough to stop Francesco from absolutely running away with Whoa, it. Oh, now this Hold your horsepower. You're forgetting the most important factor here, that early dirt track section of the course. The dirt is supposed to be the great equalizer in this race. French rally car Raoul Sarul is counting on a big boost headed through there. And don't forget Lightning McQueen, his mentor, the Hudson Hornet, was one of the greatest dirt track racers of all time. In my opinion, McQueen is the best all-round racer in this competition. Really, Darrell, I think you need to clean your windshield. You're clearly not seeing this for what it is, Francesco's race to lose. It's time to find out. The racers are locking into the grid. Speed. I am speed. <laughs> really? Your speed? That Francesco is triple speed. Francesco is triple speed. Oh, Francesco likes this McQueen. He's really getting him into the zone. He's so getting beat today. Tire pressure is excellent. He's got plenty of fuel. And he's awesome. Why is he in the pits? He's so exposed. It's his cover. One of the best I've seen, too. Look at the detail on that rust. It must have cost him a fortune. But why hasn't he contacted us yet? There's probably heat on him. Be patient. Right, of course. He'll signal us when he can. And then we find out who's behind all this. As they head into the Palace Hairpin, Francesco builds an early lead. Oh, hang on, boys. Here comes the dirt. Stepping and sliding, baby. McQueen, it's time to make your move. Get on the outside and then show them what not done taught you. Ten four, Mater. Oh, boy. Francesco's brought to a screeching halt. Lightning right McQueen is the first to take advantage. And just like that, folks, Francesco's lead is left in the dust. Nice call, Peter. Keep it up. <laughs> Man, McQueen looks happier than a Robard and Demolition Derby. Everyone's jostling for position as we hit the asphalt again. Francesco lost a lot of momentum in the dirt. Well, he's got some serious work ahead of him if he wants to get back in this race. Now the racers hit the Rainbow Bridge with its 360-degree loop. Mm -hmm. 